Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see how your person, how you and your person feel about each other, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves. I do have some people that have been emailing me regarding personal readings to protect yourself and to protect myself. The only way that you're able to get one is by purchasing it on the site, okay? All right, my loves. I would like to send a special shout out to all my members. Thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel and for all my subscribers, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Let's see what's going on. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Show me what I need to see. I know these cards are loud. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, spirit. Okay, they were all coming out to begin with. So we have confession. Someone has to tell you something. So for some of you guys, either you or your person, somebody has to confess something. Then we have pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Someone is expecting. Expecting Somebody's pregnant. And then we have distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Wow, that's some, that's some serious energy right there. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with a fire sign. I also have retrograde, which we're about to go into. I think Jupiter is retrograding. Like, you know, there's going to be some, some, some high emotions this month. Some very high emotions. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could find out that this person is actually pregnant. And then it says, they'll be back. Expect to hear from someone soon. So somebody here that's been very distant with a lot of you guys, you're going to expect to hear from this person very soon. For some of you guys, you could find out that your person has somebody pregnant or you could be telling your person that they're pregnant. We have divorce, experiencing a breakup. So for some of you guys right now, present moment, you and your person, you're actually experiencing a breakup or a separation. Commitment, things are getting serious. Wow. Okay. All right. There's a lot. There's too many different energies here. There's too many different energies here. All right. Let's get into this. For some of you guys, someone has something that they need to tell you. And that something that they need to tell you could be the fact that they want to separate um, or they are separating from someone. For some of you guys, this thing that this person has to tell you is either they're pregnant or they have someone else pregnant. You know how that goes. Um, for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. This person is emotionally distant or this person is at a distance from you. But Spirit is saying that this person will be back. For a lot of you guys, this person will be back later on in the month of July when retrograde happens, okay? For some of you guys, there is someone here that they're, they're going to want to commit to you when they do come back towards you. When they come back towards you, they're going to want to commit to you. Yes. Show me spirit. What's this confession? What's this confession for my Virgos? The Fool. Somebody wants a new beginning. Six of Cups. See that? Somebody has some feelings for you. And the Eight of Diamonds. Somebody wants to work things out. So for some of you guys, there's someone here that wants to confess that they can't stop thinking about you. And that they want to work things out with you. Who is this person? Could definitely be an Aries. Who is this person that wants to confess to my Virgos? Five of Cups, somebody here that's very disappointed or they disappointed you. Three of Swords, in the reverse, this is somebody here that could have hurt you. And this is somebody here that disappointed you. And this person wants to heal the situation with you. And the Hierophant, this is someone here that wants to commit, could be a Taurus. So I have Aries and Taurus. This is somebody here that wants to commit to you. Somebody here that know they disappointed you. Somebody here that wants a new beginning with you, could definitely be an Aries or a Taurus. Yeah. Show me pregnancy. Eight of crystals. 
communication. Somebody who's about to get pregnant, if you're not pregnant, fast, fast. Ace of Cups, wow, new love. And the Ace of Crystals. <laughs> Somebody here is about to get pregnant. Like, somebody's about to get pregnant, bottom of the deck, let me tell you. Like, you got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Crystals, and the Ace of Swords. I am speaking the truth. And it's about to happen very, very fast. Someone here is going to be expecting. Whether this be you or your person, who's expecting? Let's see if we can see who's, who's expecting, spirit. I want it to pop out. The sun, Leo energy. Somebody's going to actually be extremely happy. Somebody, when you, when you or this person, whoever finds out somebody's pregnant, this person's going to be extremely, extremely happy. King of Crystals, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like somebody here, like you have someone, I feel like this, if this is not you, you have somebody here because we have fire sign twice where it's showing this. And this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Leo as well, finding out that they're pregnant and they're going to be extremely happy. But this is also for some of you guys, like... You're going to be happy. This person's going to be happy. This is like a new member of the family. Yeah. The world. See that? It's like a total completion. I'm telling you, like, for some of you guys, this could be like a, a new grandbaby. Or, like, it could be you. <laughs> it could be you as well. So, yeah, that's happening. <laughs> that's happening. Let me tell you, I had, you know, you know, I had my kids young. So, for me, when people talk about children, I'll be like, children are out of style. <laughs> I love them. I love them to death. Y'all know I do. But I love other people's children. Like, I love my children, too, by all means. I love my children. But I don't want no more. <laughs> I tell people, I tell my friends all the time, I'm like, children are out of style. <laughs> Show me distance, spirits. Show me what's this distance. The magician. This talks about manifestation. Somebody's manifesting someone that's distant, strength, Leo energy, trying to find the strength to overcome obstacles. Nine of swords. Look, somebody's losing sleep over a Gemini, Virgo, or a Leo here because this person is either at a distance or this person is emotionally distant. And someone here is losing sleep over this. Why? Because they love them. Or because they have or because they're a choice, they want this person to choose them. Gemini energy. A lot of you guys can deal with a Gemini or another Virgo or a Leo. And this is somebody here that's emotionally distant or, or is at a distance. And you want this person to choose you. And you're losing sleep over this. You're losing sleep over this because you want this person to choose you. Yeah. Show me divorce. Show me divorce for my Virgos. Two of diamonds. Somebody's juggling. Seven of crystals. Somebody wants to fight for their spouse, though. The Emperor, Aries energy. Mm. Some of you guys are dealing with a stubborn individual. Like your spouse, this divorce, they don't care that you leave. Like you're dealing with a very strong willed person here, this Emperor. This is somebody, it's, it's their way or the highway. Yeah, this is somebody here. It's their way on the highway. This person could have definitely been juggling. For some of you guys, you've somebody here, you have to put a restraining order against this person. Because this person got this person gets real nasty with it. This person is extremely controlling, and this person could be manipulative. It's it's giving me an energy of it's their way on the highway. This person that you've been dealing with, this person that you're separating from, this person that you're divorcing. And I feel like this person has been, this person, actually, this person, they did wrong, though. I get that this person did wrong. That's something. That's something. Show me this fire sign, spirit. Show me this fire sign for my Virgos. Ace of diamonds. Y'all got all the aces on this board. You got all the aces on this board. So there's new, there's new offer coming from a fire sign, five of swords. That's going to cause you some stress and anxiety, six of swords. For some of you guys, you have a you have somebody here that's moving on from something else to come towards you. It's gonna cause you a little, it's gonna cause some conflict. It's definitely gonna cause some conflict because I feel like this person is choosing you. But I saw earlier, earlier in the read, like you want this person to choose you. You want this. Ace of Swords. Look at this. Look at this. As I speak the truth again, because you remember that Ace of Swords came out in the back of the deck. Now this Ace of Swords actually came out. 
So somebody here is going to be choosing you. Somebody here is going to be moving on from something else or someone else, and they're going to be choosing you. Definitely an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. How would my Virgo know who this person is, Spirit? Ten of Crystals. This person has caused you a lot of emotional baggage. Ten of Diamonds. This person could be married or in something else already. This person could be actually divorcing someone to be with you. This person could have a family somewhere else, and this person could have this person could have had you on pause for a while. This person could have definitely had you on pause for a while, and now this person is deciding you. Now this person is deciding it's going to be you. Yeah. Show me this Mercury retrograde spirit. I see communication coming in from all different directions for you guys. Yeah. The tower. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, a lot of you guys are going to be, you, there's going to be like relationship issues, communication issues. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, when it comes to your love, when it comes to dealing with your person, unexpectedly, like you have people coming, coming from different directions. Like you have people that's, like they're causing chaos in their own home to come cause chaos in your home. Yeah, Scorpio energy, two of cups. This is a soul, this is a soulmate connection. Three of diamonds in the reverse. There's somebody that has somebody else though. This is third party. For some of you guys, like your, like, your relationship, your connection is gonna be turned upside down. You know, this is coming at the end of this month and, and like your, your relationship, your connection or somebody else's relationship connection is going to be turned upside down because of a third party. Because of a third party, this talks about partnership. Like this talks about building on something unsolid. And the, I feel like it's, it's like someone trying to stay in a marriage for all the wrong reasons or staying within a relationship for all the wrong reasons. And I feel like something is going to come bust. Somebody's emotions are going to come bust. Something's going to come bust. And it's going to be turned upside down. And somebody is going to be coming back to the other person. Show me they'll be back, spirit. Show me they'll be back. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Seven of Swords. And the Knight of Crystals. Wow. So for some of you guys, somebody here that really and truly, I don't like the energy with the High Priestess. Because that's your energy. Pisces energy. Um... Somebody here that was deceptive, was in and out of your life, they want to talk and they'll be back. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be two different people, but I'm getting for a lot of you guys, before this month is out, you're going to hear from some people that you were like, why are you calling me? Or you're going to, people are going to be showing back up and it's going to kind of shake your life all, all, you're going to be all discombobulated. Because it's like, what do you do? What do you choose? What will happen? For some of you guys, like somebody here could truly be getting pregnant in the mix of all of this or finding out somebody's pregnant in the mix of all of this. Yeah, that's a big energy. I feel like, I feel like this energy is really and truly like, this is just not right now. I really and truly get like, this is like through the end of this month, whereas people are going, you, this is people communicating coming back to express that they're they're shaking up your world and theirs because this is what all this is telling me all this is saying that there's people here that's shaking up their world and your world unrequited love so for some of you guys you're dealing with someone here where the love is unrequited and then we have make the effort Someone here is going to want to make the effort. It says, great love is worth taking the necessary steps you're guided to take. And then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I think I got this for you guys yesterday. I think I got that for you guys yesterday. Give your relationship a chance at the bottom of the deck. So there's a big energy here of someone coming back. No matter what, no matter what happens, no matter where they go, what they're doing, they're going to be back. I feel like this is like, okay, you know what's best for yourself. You know what you want, you know what you don't want. I see people confessing, I see people divorcing, people wanting to separate. But I feel like I get an energy like these people keep coming back to you though. 
Like, no matter what they do, and you know what I'm getting, and I'm going to say this for a lot of you guys, is because you leave a crack in the door. That's what I'm getting in this energy. I'm getting an energy of a lot of you guys, especially this month, you haven't quite closed the door on something. And this is like you leaving a crack in the door for someone here to come back. Someone here is like you're waiting for someone to come in and tell you the truth about a situation. Um, are you waiting for someone here to come back to you? Someone here could truly, I keep seeing that pregnancy, someone here could truly get, be getting pregnant or find out somebody is pregnant. Strong fire energy throughout this entire reading. Strong fire energy throughout this entire reading. Let's see. What's your advice, spirit? What's your advice? A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, this is, I almost feel like this is a love message to self. I feel like this is a love message to self. And when spirit is telling you guys to love yourself first. Because yes, people, other people will claim to love you, but it's about you loving yourself. Other people can claim to love you all they want, but it's making sure that you love yourself to the point that you have respect for yourself. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. But I'm definitely getting an energy of, for some of you guys, this is something that you're dealing with. Like, I'm not getting past energy. I'm getting like now future energy. All right?